question number 41, we'd like to find y prime and y double prime for y equals x sine of x. So we'd like to find the first derivative and the second derivative for this function y equals x sine x. So let's start out with the first derivative. What I notice right off the bat is I've got a function times a function here. So I've got the product of two functions, so we need to use the product rule to take its derivative. So if I'm trying to find y prime, then I need to use the product rule. So I take the first one and leave it alone, x, times the derivative of the second function. And the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Then I add the second one left alone, sine of x, times the derivative of the first function. But the derivative of x is just 1. So it's sine of x times 1, so I can just leave it sine of x. So the derivative of this first uh, function y, which is x sine of x, is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is 1. So this is the first derivative. Now let's take a second derivative. So I want to find y double prime. And to find y double prime, these are added together, so I can just take the derivative of each of those guys separately. But when I take the derivative of x cosine of x, I see that is a product. So since it's a product, I need to use the product rule. So to take the derivative of x cosine of x, I take the first guy and leave it alone, times the derivative of cosine of x, which is negative sine x, plus the second guy left alone, cosine of x, times the derivative of the first, which is x, and the derivative of x is just 1. I guess I'll write it in for right now. So I get to take the derivative of x cosine x, I get the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. So this one's done, but I still haven't taken the derivative of sine x. So I need to add on the derivative of sine x, which is cosine of x. And now if I wanted to, I could clean this up just a little bit and write that y double prime is negative x sine x, and then I've got cosine of x plus cosine of x, which is 2 cosine x. So my first derivative is x cosine x plus sine x. And my second derivative is negative x sine x plus 2 cosine x.